I recently read the book 10% Happier by author Dan Harris. It is a break from the conventional self-help book and it demystifies mindfulness. This book most helped me understand what the default mode is and the way we are able to prevent it from taking over our lives. The default mode is a part of our brain that gets lost in thought. It ruminates about the past projects into the longer term and obsess about ourselves. It's what we associate to thinking it's that self-talk we experience as we bear the day as though we are reprehension ourselves silently but if you concentrate to this voice long enough you realize it's kind of an asshole you see this a part of the brain was developed for a time when we were constantly under threat it is a part of her brain that's constantly seeking out problems it's never really satisfied with anything that we obtain in a sense it is a monkey mind constantly reacting to everything around us author Dan Harris lit this default mode quite run rapid in his life D. Don's an overachiever A. Type A personality He's a news anchor for ABC He found himself getting depressed although he was very successful soon at the time he found himself getting very anxious he started self-medicating and eventually he had a panic attack on live TV at that time he went resolute explorer for help Dan started interviewing a bunch of self-help gurus and he found that almost all of them were completely stuffed with it and that they had very little practical advice but when he came across Eckhart Tolle he was in Intrigued he was curious he knew Eckhart Tolle was on to something which his teachings will be useful to getting him off the trail of anxiety and depression but Eckhart Tolle his approach to mindfulness and meditation still seemed a bit mystical or woo woo then he started interviewing some very smart people doctors and neuroscientists these people showed him the most recent science when it comes to mindfulness meditation and this was very compelling very black and white it seems that meditation and mindfulness don't h ave anything to try to do with spirituality unless you would like it to it's just a variety of exercise for your brain it's a thanks to not get jerked around by the thoughts in your head it is a thanks to gain control over the concern and therefore the endless wanting we allow into our lives dan chanced on researchers at yale and found that meditators not only deactivate their default mode their monkey mind while practicing meditation but they're able to control this a part of the brain when they don't seem to be meditating in a sense mindfulness meditation can help you create a replacement default mode Dan says I could actually feel this happening with me I noticed myself cultivating a form of nostalgia for this developing the reflex to squelch pointless self-talk and easily notice whatever was going on around me in moments where I was temporarily able to suspend my monkey mind and skill everything that was happening I felt the littlest taste of happiness that I've got achieved well in retreat and he talks a few silent haven he visited where he had to meditate for a full week but he tells you not does one don't necessarily have to go into these retreats to urge the advantages of meditation you merely must put aside time within the day where you'll be able to train your mind pause minutes at any time sit down and shut your eyes and listen to how your breath feels after you become awake to an inspiration or feeling unrelated to your breathing simply let the thought or feeling elapse diverting your attention again to your breathing it simply takes off from the torrent of thoughts for less than a nanosecond any time it is not about calming yourself detain mind that it's about what proportion reps you'll do what percentage times you'll be able to bring your attention back to the current moment because if we were trying to urge out of the river of ideas that we live in completely caught entering into the beach and watching the ideas pass in step with the most recent science once you do you're sculpting your mind you have been doing actors who are literally growing the gray matter in your mind in areas related to self-awareness Stan says that you just can grow your nerve tissue even as curls result in the expansion of biceps therefore the organ of experience are often trained through which our entire lives are managed happiness may be a skill dance as mindfulness meditation sooner are going to be a no-brainer like brushing your teeth or going for a run within the 1950s if you told those that you were going for a run they'd have asked your chasers within the not too distant future if you complained to someone that you simply weren't happy I'll ask you why you do not meditate within the end. Mindfulness meditation has been shown to be there to stay practicing and it'll not cause you to unmotivated, rather it'll cause you to more intense and fewer likely to succumb to very distracting and useless thoughts. The flexibility to show your mind on problem solving once you want to and switch it off once you just want to relax. Mental training will change your mind to permit you to take a seat within the driver's seat and not just allow the monkey mind to run your life. This is often the fundamental message I gathered from Don's book. How do they recommend getting this book? 
Thanks for watch.